All right, so now let's talk about what we're going to be doing um, to make a yearbook page. First of all, you want to go to your assigned page. Everybody should have one. Uh, you can just click right here on plan or you can do page ladder. Either way, if you just click on it, it'll go there. Drag down to wherever your page is. And I found my page and all you do is click on your page. And there you have it. Well, now, uh, there's a couple things that you can do, but before you get started, you have to have something. Well, you don't necessarily have to have something to put on your page. Let's just talk about designs for a second. I would prefer that you use one of the pre pre done designs. I've seen some people who are just kind of throwing stuff in there, and that's good because you're getting used to it and you're learning about how to put in shapes. And what I'm not I'm not saying you have to use the design exactly the way it is, but it's nice because everything is lined up perfectly, and uh, there's a lot of good there's a lot of good ideas. And if you just click on designs right here, and you can look right up here, there's all kinds of different choices. And don't worry about having to, you know, it, it, like I think I've said this before, even a sports design can be useful. I mean, something like this is a sports design and there might be some place for team scores or something like that but you don't necessarily have to use it the way it's it's laid out for example you can choose to delete things and then put in a text box if you so desire and text boxes are right up here you can just click right there and it says advanced text and so forth but if you just kind of click click there there's a text box you grab the end or the uh, excuse me the uh, corn, uh, edge not the corner put it where you want it to go and uh, you can resize it okay or if there's a text box and you don't want the text box well this is a text box over a shape so you can see there's let's see the edge okay it's telling me to do different things you can put take one or the other so you can choose to have things or not have things the only thing is see this one has the white text so you could lose it if I click off right here it almost doesn't appear to be there, although it is. Make sure you delete those things because they can come back to haunt you later on when they, they can end up behind something. You can put something over it and not know it's there. And when you go to upload your page, you're going to have a problem because it's going to say, I can't upload it because there's a text box that is being covered up. So when you get rid of something, and a way to do that, to, to figure out where something is, like, okay, I know that it's there, but if I didn't know it was there, if I went like this on the gray area and made an imaginary box like that, notice that the text box show, shows up and also the page number shows up. Try not to delete the page numbers. Okay, so you just kind of select it, hit the delete, and it's gone. So, uh, as I said, you don't have to use it the way it, it's, uh, it's laid out, but um, I would prefer that you do choose something like this and again you can just delete like that notice my page numbers are still there and if you lose the page number that's okay because you can put a page number back in here if I click right here and let's say I delete that page number I can go back up here and say page number and there's my page number the only problem is you want to zoom in on the page number it's kind of hard to move it around when you're not zoomed in so there's the zoom right up there and you can see the page number the page number changes by the way depending on what page you're on. So if I move it over here, it becomes 27. And if I move it over here, it becomes 26. So it does know that it is a page number. And then you can just move the page number. See the, uh, you have to get that sort of four pointed compass look here. Let me just zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Let's see if we can see that. Okay, so when I hover over it, you see this is just going to resize it that way, this up and down. By the way, that X means something's wrong. Um, but you see that four-sided, that sort of four points of the compass thing, that is what you want to do when you, when you hover over, when you hover over the uh, border. And that way you can move it, okay? And so I can just move it down here to the corner of the page, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. Okay, and so that's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to try, and you know, if you've already got something there, play with it for a while, and you, you, know, you can go back and change things very easily, and we'll, 
we'll talk about that. I'm going to just zoom to fit. Um, but try the different try the different types out. Uh, you know, now and wow. Here's an interesting one. Uh, so you've got all of these different choices here that you can you can throw in there. Some are single page. Some are, and you you don't have to use both pages. Uh, you know, but if you want to, here's this one right here. It says there's an existing thing. Say yes. Okay. So that you can add stuff. Notice that the text right here is sideways. And by the way, that Latin, I never want to see that on your finished page. Uh, this is fake Latin. It's just a placeholder for uh, text so that you know that uh, that's supposed to be text. So notice right here you have it going sideways. So everything is kind of laid out for you. And it's really much nicer to start things out that way. Now, remember, I went to the uh, I put mine in a template. Uh, there was one that I thought was really cool and so I ended up putting it in something called templates. Let's see if I can find templates here. Templates. Okay, templates exchange. Hmm. I'm not quite sure where to look for my templates right now but I'm sure I will find them or someone else will tell me how to find it. <laughs> 